Uh, now you may want to kind of ask your clients that which banks he may be kind of interested in to take the loan. So uh, say for example he is interested in DB, RBS, uh, UBS and JP Morgan. So uh, the first thing that he may be interested of course is to what is the my EMI. So you can just click here which is calculate EMI and you will find that this whole uh, new sheet will actually prompt with all the EMIs which has been selected by the client. So uh, JP Morgan actually has an EMI of 1300, UBS 1400 and so on and so forth for the loan and the tenure for this client. Now uh, let's assume that your client has another kind of requirement. He may want to understand what is uh, the interest rates uh, charged by all the banks which uh, the bank consultant is in touch with. Maybe he wants to understand what is the minimum and the maximum. So uh, with, with a single click like sort EMIs you will be able to kind of generate that list. So let me do it for you and uh, you can see at the back of my worksheet uh, you'll find that with a single click this whole uh, worksheet gets sorted. Uh, in, in the increasing order of uh, the interest rates. So here UBS charges around 14%, Bank of America with 8%. So this is another you know kind of activity done using VBAs and macros. Likewise you know a client may think of uh, another interesting combination. He may want to see this graphically. So you may want to as a bank consultant kind of impress your client. So you may just want to click uh, EMI graph and uh, you can easily show your client the EMIs as corresponding to the different banks. So here these are the four banks which he selected and you can see that the graph is automatically printed here. So it's an interesting thing that you can do a lot of things using VBAs and macros. Uh, another interesting add-on could be that uh, your client may want a printout of all these reports which you have generated. So maybe you can just uh, click a single button instead of going here on file and print and you know selecting area you can actually write a macro and automate this task uh, by just you know having these radio buttons here. So maybe you just want to kind of select here as print report and click on submit. So the moment you do that, uh, you'll find that your report gets submitted and uh, it gets printed automatically. Maybe uh, your client uh, is, is uh, not interested in getting a printout, but he may want to kind of receive these using email. So uh, this VBA applications can be integrated with your Outlook and uh, this will help you to email the report automatically. So report can be first converted into a Adobe PDF document and then it can be you know, mailed across. So let me choose email report and click on submit and the prompt says the report has been emailed. So since I have configured my uh, outlook with this excel sheet uh, let me see if uh, if the email has been sent or not. So here this is, uh, this is my email ID and uh, you can see here this is send item and this is the EMI report which I just generated and it says hi David uh, please find attached report and let me see what is there in this PDF uh, it, it contains uh, basically the interest rates and uh, the processing charges and the EMIs of the corresponding banks so the email has gone to David so on the other side I may want to check David Webb's uh, email ID so he has received an email uh, stating the same amount. So I think uh, uh, this is how you know uh, there are various kinds of possibilities of automation using VBAs and macros. Okay so I guess some of you may be wondering that uh, this whole VBAs and macro course would actually require a heavy dope of coding. Uh, uh, probably I would say the answer is a clear no. I personally don't know any coding whatsoever but what I literally do many a times is take help from Excel. So um, what do what do we really understand by taking help from Excel is that Excel while we do certain commands generate codes and if we can understand those logically and probably just add or delete few items here and there probably if we are able to these do these two I guess you will require no coding language whatsoever. So this is how we are going to learn about VBAs and macros and uh, for doing this we will divide our course of VBAs and macros into two parts. One is the basic and the other one would be the advanced version. 
uh, for basic uh, we will actually learn what is the visual basic uh, language what is VB editor and you know uh, what are exactly macros we will try and develop certain small macros to kind of automate certain tasks uh, what is user form you know all these things will be kind of discussed in basic and uh, think about advanced is the example which we just saw for the bank consultant you know how to automatically email create PDF you know sort create user form and you know dynamically update uh, uh, the the Excel sheets you know all these things will actually come under the advanced example so this is how the course is structured number one you must remember that there's no coding language that is required here number two uh, we will take help from Excel and uh, we will try to understand the sequence of its code logically and uh, you should be able to at least understand enough so that you can do add delete or maybe modify so as to suit your needs that's how the overall approach will be like so let's go cracking and learn VBA basic course uh, the only assumption that we are making here is that uh, you pretty much are aware of Excel so I'm, I'm what we mean by this is that you have seen an Excel interface and you have uh, probably are kind of aware of these functions and you probably know how to apply these functions and uh, you are pretty much aware of uh, certain aspects of Excel like how to create graphs and and these are the basic assumptions that we have made so if there are some complex functions like uh, VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or otherwise we feel uh, we have introduced some complexity we'll We'll go ahead and explain those functions in detail. However, uh, we would definitely assume that you are not at the start of the Excel. You have actually reached a certain point, and that's why you would like to kind of uh, understand how to automate certain tasks which you are already doing in Excel as of now.